Next level gives me a hundred thousand dollars to work with. Four checkpoints, any order. Got a fast card, 150 meters per second. <laughs> no, I wish, just 15. That she was too fast. Ideally, I would love to hit like two of the stars on the first pass, or at least a two. To slow you down, I will curse you with steel. You are now a heavier vehicle. It actually did hit A2, so that was kind of worth it. Come on, you car, get there. All right, you know what? I'll take it. Issue now is that landing is terrifying. I was thinking of constructing some sort of nasty loop, but it will have to be nasty. Oh, God, this middle section is going to be terrifying. I mean, this is a good spot for a foundation, don't get me wrong. Maybe I just trust the hell out of it with steel, it'll stand. You think? Go for a nice cable? Yeah, it's not going anywhere. Nowhere at all. Actually, it wasn't half bad. What if I do some sort of spring brace against the wall? So if it wants to, and trust me, it wants to, it can push back against the wall. Nope. Fine, you know what? Steel muscle. And let me try a spring in the middle. This isn't something I'll, I think about too often, but it's really good compression, but can flex. The road was shattered. Who do you think you are? Does it change if the uh, spring is removed? It's just the normal steel muscle now. Oh, it actually does change, and it almost hits the star. It's so painfully close. How about just one more road? Keep it small, because it doesn't need to go far. There we go. Only issue is it's upside down now. And on the total wrong side of where it needs to be. Yeah, I didn't think about that. Now, I'm not saying this is a good idea, but hypothetically, if I did some sort of cable arch in the middle and used these three points to support the dumbest turnaround of all time, then I don't know, maybe we could have something interesting. It's uh, really stressed in a lot of ways. Oh, it actually misses a lot of it. Okay, so this whole thing has to like move this way, which means that the support is now asymmetrical. And you know what? Should be made of springs. Yeah, you know what? We go back to steels in the middle and then springs on the bottom. What, am I under arrest for having dumb spring fuckery? I don't think so. Oh no. Uh, I hit it a little too early. <laughs> this whole bridge is awful. I need just some better idea. And maybe I could just hit A2 here. And doing that's a lot easier. Because I can basically catch him right here about. And then complete some sort of awesome jump. But this may have costs of its own. Let me just start with this single support itself. I just want to see if it lands where I hope it would land. Well, not if the cable breaks. Maybe instead of cables, I could just brace it on the foundation itself. This has merit to actually go straight up and then miss the star on the way back down. Okay, I need to shift this whole thing to the left. <gasps> yes! Okay. Um, there is bad news. It's facing the wrong way. That's the rotation I want, but it has a brake that I don't want. It requires a steel muscle. Good God, this thing is expensive, but... Oh, I don't know how to feel about that donk. That's the ticket. That's the ticket. Very expensive ticket, but still the ticket. Before I go any further, I need to shave. So I've made a lot of changes. It's kind of unrecognizable, but I couldn't document the process because it was a lot of trial and error. Look at this, under half half budget and the perfect landing. There is hope. I may even go as far to make a second foundation just because I don't want to mess with this first one, which includes some sort of catching road here. And then this bad bo boy will just arch all the way down. I don't know if it'll keep its speed, but it could be interesting. I'll just do a cool poop and put in as many extra steels as I can. Okay, so the landing's a little off. This tells me I actually do want another anchor on the other side of the foundation, complete with its own distance runner. I'll let it be over half budget right now. Look at that landing! Nothing broke! It almost made it, too. It actually hit the star. That was damn perfect. Basically, it just needs a very tiny catching road. I think this can actually just be springs. You really don't need anything too fancy here. Yeah, okay. My first working one for 106. Top 14%. So let's just look at the right side, or like the right middle, right? 
what actually gets stressed, what doesn't. Well, I don't see these getting too stressed. Yeah, still works. I know I could shorten the road a little. I guess that's not the worst thing ever. In fact, I could actually bring this road in. Maybe I could just bring the whole thing in. Let's see. Oh, yes, half budget. That was a freaking tough one, man. Yeah, no, people got it for cheap, but I used it my way. Well, I gotta see the cheap ones. This is, oh, it stumbles back. Yeah, that makes sense. This one actually looked like it didn't slow it down. Oh, taking advantage of the slide. That's clever. This looks sick. Oh, it does a backflip and it's got two beautiful arches for 73,000. That's a sick central steel arch, let me tell you. This is by far the best level to watch. What's going on here? Oh, it's got like a guiding fall. Well done. I actually love that nobody had my exact solution. I feel special. Hey, where are my roads? This is probably gonna be the hardest level by far to get half budget. I got 21 and a half thousand and my roads are here and I've got to use hydraulics to get them in between the static joints. Yeah, it's gonna be tough. Find a hydraulic to pull it along without calculating, of course, as all engineers should do, just, just guess. Then I'll reattach these roads together. Maybe something like this. And then, oh God, uh, that wasn't supposed to happen. Okay, what if I steal it up? Just make it so it can't compress. Same with you, no compression. Now we got a moving part. Okay, it still buckles. More steel, less buckling. Look at it, rotate. Ah, it still buckles eventually. Come on, you buckler. I didn't see actually how there's two hydraulic phases. I could do it all in one, or I could do it all in two. However, this is never gonna work unless if I uh, pull this wood a lot better. Oh, <gasps> yes! Oh my God, I can't believe that worked. That is the move. So now I need all this stuff that isn't the truss, copy it, and then I need to flip it horizontally so the pivot point can actually attach to the middle of the roads. And maybe I could just take this truss and flip it. And it'd be a miracle if this worked. Because look, it brings it up. And then... Okay, hold on. It tilts a little to the left. I'll fix that. Could you imagine if this worked? Could you imagine? <gasps> it clicked on one side. Is that good enough? It's probably going to break. But I mean, there is steel here. And it's a light vehicle. It worked with a brake. It's so close. Top 15%. Just got to find the perfect balance in the right side. It all clicked. It's beautiful. Wow, this design worked out well. That was a pretty simple one. Love to see it. How do people get it for cheap? Well, this, ah, uh, what is going on here? That clicks? It's like some sort of bullet time click there. How on earth does this work? Are you kidding me? It's got like two tiny springs, one in each of the bridges as shock absorbers. Nasty. This one's got a bit less budget. 32,000. What is this wheel doing? It's just a wheel that gets pushed along. Cool. Oh, and there's a moped. Was a moped. So this doesn't look hard. I just kind of build the bridge on the bottom. Wait a second. It may not reach, but I just noticed I can't build a bridge on top. Oh, is that what these wheels are? So like you push one, it pulls the other. And then do I need to build a moving bridge on it? Wait, that's a sick idea. What a clever level. I'll do a funny little under truss. Make sure the moped can actually reach his flag. And then I imagine some sort of tension bridge would work out excellently here. Over such a short distance, I doubt I'll need anything more. Oh, I just gotta make it not buckle now. Well, I was thinking I could stabilize it with more steel. There goes the bridge. So how well is this timed? Not well, actually. Well, I mean, it's fine. I can just make it be longer. I do feel like the idea has a lot of merit, though. You just gotta make it catch, and then it could work. Oh, it breaks. Well, that could be a steal. However, I'm out of budget, so no more steel. Oh, so close. I extended the road a little bit more on the left side, and that's enough to get it. What a cool concept. These have all gotta be really interesting for cheap. What the... Oh, this is a half balanced on the vehicle itself. That's very clever. Ah, this level looks pretty tough. Hold on, these don't look like normal balloons. Oh no, the anchor points rotate. Let's just say hypothetically I was attached to the motor. The bridge will just pivot. 
and make my errors worse, they don't all rotate in the same direction. Ideally, I want them as cheap as possible. That means a weird rope support. Does the limo at least get on and drive? It does. Like, maybe it can do something once it reaches this height. Eventually, it will have to be lowered, and eventually the limo may drive again. I mean, I was thinking, why not just have the road continue, maybe a wood truss for now, and just attach it more to the left side. It works! It behaves a little weirdly, but it's not that weird. Oh! Whoa, 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 whoa! Look at how these work together! What a beautiful flexing machine! Hold on, I could take the roads, angle them a bit down now. Because it needs to get off this wild ride eventually, right? I just need an opportunity for it to get off. I think it can get off here. Yeah, it just needs to be caught now. Here's an idea. I go cable, rope, and then road. I'm doing this because, to be honest, I just want to see what it will do. It lifts up the bridge. It lifts up a little too much, so I'm going to have to lower this whole thing. Maybe commit to a cable attachment, then see what happens. So I get like an instant buckle here. So if I have this road detached maybe to like here and then do a rope attachment to maybe here, it then starts wiggling a lot, but doesn't break yet. Still that nasty right side though. Maybe I should address the actual issue. And that would be the bridge that can't stop crashing. Let's see, it transfers and then it makes it this far. Okay, so no brakes. However, it needs to drive. Whoa, okay. Lower some of these ropes. And then what I really need is just one more road. Just make a tiny gap here. <gasps> oh, that's so close. Unbelievable. There's the landing. No brakes. Now, it is a limo, so it's likely going to get stuck here. <gasps> oh, wait, that's not bad. Four and a half thousand to shave. What a funny bridge. Top 7%, pretty good too. Now, four and a half thousand is quite a lot, no doubting. Can I raise the under truss in some places? One place at the time, left side looks like it can do it. Will this have a negative effect? It will not. The bad news is I don't have many more scapegoats. Maybe if I just move the road in further and just let it be short. Maybe it'll be too unimportant to break? No. It does still break. Oh, there we go. I fixed the brake. New best. Up 100 on the nose. Quickly, raise the arch before the bridge noses. Maybe I can pull a fast one on it. Oh, what? Just that brake again. That's good. So how I fixed this brake last time was just by raising the road to the right. Because the back wheel falls onto it. I'm trying to give it a shorter distance to fall. Oh, the idea has merit. 500 to go. Honestly, why not raise more of the truss? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Tweaked it a bit more. 224 to go. That's a lot of stress. No, 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 no. I'm saving money anywhere. It's got to be on this steel. I mean, it's got to be. Yes, I can do it. Way less stressed. Maybe I can raise this under truss. Half budget exactly. Come on. Good landing. Oh, <gasps> good landing. Yes, it's done. Oh my god, this was ridiculous. Freaking 94 people did better than me. Let's see, what did people do? Oh, this is anything but simple. Oh yeah, this is hell. Okay. And there's a big delay, of course. Well, I'm glad to know I wasn't missing anything there. Okay, a few other people did this one rope splitting off into the two wood. I guess that was the learning moment. That's what I should take away from this. Well, I'll take this knowledge and throw it into the next levels. Hopefully they're easier than this.